So it's Chi from Chi First. I want to give a quick second hand video. It's, this is kind of like a, a update for the realtor video I just did. Pulling realtor list from realtor.com with the uh, instant data scraper. And so if you watch that video and you, I'll put the link down in the uh, description there. But if you watch that video, then you know how we got this list. We pulled this from realtor.com and it has a list of, of realtors uh, and their phone numbers and their company, right? So when you're cleaning up the list, you, the instant data scraper gives these weird names at the top. We're just gonna name them what they are. This is kind of like full name. This is phone. When, you, when you're pulling this into your CRM, you need these things to be labeled correctly and this will be company it's company or company name um, so there we got that right so now we need to clean this up uh, something like this is going to be deleted because it's not actual a person this person has their company here uh, let's see some of them will have like owner we're going to get rid of all the owners let's see we're going to find we can do and find in the sheet and send anywhere that somebody said own owner. I'm gonna find that. Okay, six people did that. So let's find and replace with blank or nothing. All sheets, imagine tires, so replace all. Okay, so all that's gone. We're gonna actually find all the brokers. replace all all the commas replace all this one has real estate consultant we'll just delete that by hand I'm getting rid of all this stuff so that we don't see it when we split the names we're gonna split the names in a minute Scott's farmer NC appraiser we don't need that part just need their their names in here. If they they put anything else in here, it's going to cause a problem. Some people, when they put their information into Realtor.com, they put all this extra stuff beside their name rather than just putting their name for whatever reason. I, I don't know why. Um. So let's see another one who's got Realtor, but they got a funny spelling. They got that slash there, so the system didn't see it. This person has a slash for some reason. Don't know what MRE stands for, but we're gonna get rid of it. Another one with the slash realtor. I bet you we can pull, get rid of that. Let's see if we can find any more of these slash realtors. replaced all of them if there's any more any of these this is a team of people so we're going to get rid of that I don't want to call any teams we're just going to call single individuals group get rid of all the groups delete that row team I'm just going to go find all the teams team Delete row. Two more teams. Top producer. <laughs> Somebody likes the fact that they got top producer there. Team. Let's just see if I can do a, a basic find team oh yeah there's 10 of them so we're gonna go to each one okay that's all right because it's in the name and I'm gonna get rid of this because it's two people rather than one I just kind of want to narrow this down to just the single people This person put 
something else there. Group. Must have missed that one. Let's go to these teams again. Team Braid. Delete row. The home team. Delete row. Okay, this is just one person, but we're going to get rid of this extra. It can be a, a bit of a hassle to do this. I'm going to pause it so you guys. All right, so I've gone through and I've cleaned most of these, right? So what we'll do now is we'll go into the name column and we're going to use something called Power Tools. Power Tools is an extension. Yes, you can get extensions for Google, uh, Google Sheets. A lot of people don't know that. So you can go to Get Add-ons. This is called Power Tools. What we would do is we go in here. If it land, we go Power Tools. I use this um, to split the names. It basically will split the name splitters, but uh, you can get it, get that there. So I've already got mine. You would go to extensions. You would go to power tools and start, and it'll get you this here. We go to split, split names. My column does have a header, the name header there. We have first middle name and last name. We're going to hit split, let that work. And here we go. We got first, middle, and last name there. Column for all of them. So now you have a clean sheet that you can export as a CSV file into your CRM, right? There it is. I prefer REI Reply. I have some awesome workflows in REI Reply. If anybody wants to check them out, uh, let me know. If you get REI Reply from me, uh, from my uh, affiliate link, I will provide you with some cool workflows. All right, appreciate it.